Hi, this is Mr. Biden, and this is a quick tutorial on how to use a triple beam balance. The triple beam balance is one of the most common scientific instruments that we're going to use in science class. We use the triple beam balance to find the mass of an object in grams. Today we're going to find the mass of this iron cube. To begin with, let's go over some of the features of the triple beam balance. Here is the pan. We want to make sure the pan is clean and free of any debris or water that might be on it before we start. If we don't, that could affect our results. We would be taking the mass of the water or whatever is on there instead of the mass of just our cube. These are the arms. We want to make sure that when we start, the weight that's on these arms are all the way down here. It's what we call having it zeroed. And we also want to make sure that we have this lined up right here with each of these little lines on each side matching. They're lined up. Now, we also want to note that there are little grooves on these two arms where the weight fits into. We want to make sure when we move these weights back and forth, it falls into those little notches. Otherwise, we're not going to get the right results. So, Let's take the mass of this iron cube. We'll put it on here. You know it's right away. This end goes whoop right up to the top. We're going to start with the heaviest mass and move this over. Did it go down? No. So we have to go one more. That time it went down. Now we're going to move it back. We're going to go to the next heaviest, this one in the rear. Move it up. Move it up. Move it up. There we go. Now we're going to move that one back. Finally, we're going to go to the lightest one, the smallest little mass here, and we're going to move that across. Just tap it with your finger. Tap, tap, tapity tap, 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 tap. There we go. All right, that's lined up pretty good. All right. And we want to try to be as accurate as we can with the triple beam balance. It can be difficult, but get it onto one of these lines that you see on that front bar. Now, how do we know what the mass is? What do we do with these numbers that they're lying on? Well, let's go ahead and take a closer look to see what we really need to do in order to find out what the mass of this cube is. Let's look at the largest one first, 100. So that's 100, 20, 120, and what's this one say? Well, it's right after the five before the six. So that's going to be 125. How many lines over it is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 100. And 25.9. 125.9. Now, what are the units for mass? Grams. So we'd want to report this as 125.9 grams. Now, that's the basics on how to use a triple beam balance. Make sure you practice a lot so you know how to use this instrument.